Hey everybody, I am Kenny and this is Sabrina. We are Moving Forward Adventures, just in case, you know, we've been gone for a little while, so just in case you guys don't remember us or maybe you're new to the channel. We just expanded our Battleborn battery capacity by 810 amp hours. This will now give us a total of over 1000 amp hours because we were able to continue to use our two Battleborn batteries that we have up here up front. Each of them are 100 amp hours a piece. We also increased our solar capacity, so we now have 1,300 watts of solar up on the roof. So this is something that we've actually talked about doing for a while, um, but we were kind of trying to decide if we were going to keep our RV now that it's getting a little bit older. It's 2016. We have over 110,000 miles on it. So we were deciding whether we were going to actually keep our RV or we going to trade it in for a different Winnebago or what we were going to do. Well, we decided to keep it. So we decided, well, if we're at least going to keep it for another four or five years, let's go ahead and do some of the upgrades that I'd say Kenny's been begging for <laughs> for the last few years. <laughs> yeah, so I added some Coney shocks. I did some sumo springs and just little things here and there. And uh, the, the increase in power and battery capacity is something that's definitely been on our list. We've been talking about for a long time. And I finally convinced Sabrina that <laughs> if we're going to keep the RV, let's go ahead and, and do everything that we wanted to do to the RV to make it as perfect as possible. Yes. He convinced me with no matter what we do to upgrade, it's still cheaper than a new RV. Yeah. As you guys know, the, like the price of RVs right now are just, they're, they're, I think they're slightly coming down, but they're still so high. So for us to tr even trade this in and purchase something, it would have been like another $100,000 purchase even with our trade-in, like, we're just not doing it. We're just not doing it. So you may be wondering, like, well, why did we want to expand our original battery capacity? Like, what, what are we trying to gain? And we can answer this in a few ways, but it comes down to, like, convenience, comfort, and safety, I would say, are the three major things for us. I'm going to start with convenience. So the system we have now is wired into our distribution box. So now we pretty much have... 30 amp power wherever we go. So this means on a hot day from the passenger seat, I can turn on the air conditioning before we stop, get it powered up, get the place cooled down. We can use things like the microwave when we stop at rest stops or a flying J, which we couldn't do before because our generator doesn't like our microwave. Yeah, because as you guys know, we're not big time boondockers. We're using this as a convenience package for when we're traveling. What we do, instead of boondocking, we usually travel thousands of miles at a time. So we're usually like, oh, we're in California, let's go to New York or something like that. We do, it's not uncommon for us to do a 2000 mile trip. So when we're doing that and it takes five days to get there, we don't typically stay at campgrounds. We're staying at Flying J's and rest areas and Walmarts and things like that. So we wanted to be able to have all these features overnight, AC and, and microwave and cook and just feel like we're plugged into 30 amp, even though we're out in the middle of nowhere or in the parking lot. <laughs> and a lot of you might be watching us and maybe you don't know who we are or never heard our story before. But like Sabrina said, our mic our microwave and our air conditioner never liked running off of our generator. It's always been a problem. We've actually taken the RV into several owning uh, dealerships to see if they can fix it. And the, the only fix apparently for this generator is to replace it. It doesn't put out what I would call clean energy. It doesn't put out a signal that is good enough for high powered appliances or anything that's looking for that 60 Hertz. So like the AC unit and microwave, it just does not want to run those items. We're actually on our third AC unit. Be because, and we feel this was never proven, but we <laughs> feel as if our generator broke our other two AC units because just giving it, I'm not gonna say dirty power. <laughs> <laughs> and you can hear the microwave struggle when we try to run it from the generator. Since we've had this new Battleborn battery uh, installation, when we run the microwave now, it actually sounds better running off the Battleborn batteries. Yeah, clean. It sounds so good. It just sounds so strong. <laughs> it sounds better on the Battleborn batteries than it does when we are actually plugged into a 30 amp. It does. Because this is like just, I'm not going to use the word clean again. It's like a true full power 120 volt. 60 hertz, it doesn't, it barely fluctuates coming off that Victron uh, inverter charger. Yeah, it's really, it's an awesome system. I can't say, <laughs> I mean, it's just perfect. It's just a perfect system. So we also mentioned safety uh, being a reason for this system. 
And this system, I think Sabrina already said, is always on. We never turn it on. We don't turn it off. It's on once and it stays on unless we would put the RV into storage for a long period of time. But other than that, it's on, stays on, which means when we're even plugged in at a campground, if the power would go out at the campground, this system stays on or automatically kind of switches the power from that dead power post to the batteries. So if we're running the AC unit and the power goes out at the campground, the AC unit continues to run because it just automatically switches over to battery power, which means safety for Bell. Right, right. Because we, we've definitely had in the past several campgrounds we've been to where the power has gone out and it's been hot. It it's like, It's a vehicle. So if it's hot outside, it gets really hot inside without the air conditioning on. And you may not notice that if you're not home. And we do have a temperature monitor. We monitor that, but we still haven't felt super comfortable leaving her for extended periods, short periods of time. And we try to bring her with us to as many things as we can. Uh, but the problem with Belle is even things that are pet friendly, just, you know, she's got a lot of anxiety. She doesn't like to be in crowds of people. She doesn't really like to be surrounded by even a lot of other dogs or just, she just has issues. I think is the best <laughs> way to say it. She just has issues issues and uh you know the rv is her safe place it's it's a very comfortable place for her to be she's very familiar with it for the most part she's just in her bed and she's comfortable and she's happy <laughs> she is not happy when the air conditioning goes out we always say like all of our decisions revolve around bell so this was like something that we felt was really going to be like that extra layer of protection for for her if she does get left uh in the rv by herself so those were our three reasons of why we really wanted the system. Uh, we're going to do a follow-up video, though, and talk about how the system was installed. We actually hired a company to do it called Echo One Adventures. They're in New Mexico. Jordan is the owner of that company. He's actually the one that came out and did our install. So we're going to do a video about that and just really what this system entails and how it works. Uh just real quick, I'll give you a brief explanation is that our game changers, the three game changers that we now have under the bed, they control all of our 120 volt power and our two original Battleborn batteries up front here control all of our 12 volt power. Um, hopefully that kind of makes sense. But if you have questions, definitely put them down in the comments and uh, we'll do our best to answer that. And maybe we can even incorporate some of these questions into the next video of like how this system was put together. The one question I had when everything was going on was, what do I need to do? And once they told me nothing, I was good. <laughs> it, it truly is the <laughs> nice thing about the system. The convenience of it is for Sabrina on her end, nothing. I don't need to push any buttons. I don't need to switch anything. I don't need to flick any switches. I just need to plug my devices in, use them, go about my daily life the way I like to go about it. Yeah. And I say it's just for her, but for me too, like, it's not even like you turn the system off to plug in or unplug. Like you just, it's really a nice system that, that, um, that Echo One Adventures and, and we, we kind of participated. Like that was the other good thing about using Echo One Adventures is like, we told him exactly what our, what our envision was for this coach. And he's like, I don't think that's ever been done before. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so the next video, we'll go into more detail, just how this system is put together and how it works. But till then, Take care, everybody, and safe travels. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.